Greetings, everyone. Today, we're going to be looking at the 1921 Tour de France through the eyes of The Mirror of Sports, a weekly French magazine devoted to competitive sports. The magazine was originally called The Mirror and during the First World War provided what are now considered important documentary photos of the brutal combat in Europe. After the war, the magazine changed its format and became exclusively about sports. The edition I have covers stage 15 and 16 of the 1921 Tour de France. This was a time of rebuilding for France. Many of the brightest cycling stars had died in the war and the bicycle manufacturers were still trying to get back on their feet. Nobody had enough money to individually sponsor the riders, so the bike factories formed a group called La Sportive to collectively sponsor the professional riders. The war had also ravaged many of the roads in France, adding to the difficulty of the race. Here we see a group of riders descending on a watering hole. There are many stories of how the tour riders during this time period would roll into a town, hit the taverns hard, drinking everything in sight, and leaving as quickly as they arrived. Here are Motiat and Sierra, who according to the caption, did very well in the fifth stage of the race. Here is Selyer. The clothing these guys were wearing is just amazing. They look like medieval tradesmen. Looking at these photos of the riders climbing in the mountains, it's amazing to me that this was well before the tour allowed derailers and these bikes were single speeds, or at best they had two gears which could be swapped by flipping their rear wheels around. In this photo, we see on the left, Who's Him, and on the right, Lanares. Lanares did very well in the race, coming in first place in the general classification. He rode for the Delage team. Here's the team being advertised in a poster from that year. They won 11 of the 15 stages in the 1921 Tour. Why do I know so much about the Delage team? I'm lucky enough to own a Delage from the time period, here I am spinning around on mine, and riding it gives me even more of an appreciation of the feats these riders were able to accomplish on heavy, undergeared bikes. I will say that these bikes have a very smooth ride, they're heavy duty and very well built. I think riding long flat stages wouldn't be a problem, but boy, I would not want to be one of those riders in the 1921 Tour de France once I hit those big mountains. But now back to 1921. I guess most of us can relate to this poor fellow who dropped his chain. And then, like now, they have masseuses to work those weary legs of the riders. The racers were riding tubular tires back then, and here we see lots and lots of tubulars. I'm assuming these are flats. 
This guy looks like he's had enough. And the unsung heroes of the bike racing world, past and present, the mechanics. It's interesting here, they don't have any stands. They're just flipping the bikes over and working on them on the ground, like I do when I get a flat out on the road. Thanks everybody for coming along with us to take this photographic look of the 1921 Tour de France. We will see you next time. Happy riding. Bye bye.